remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? DC Carey was on Comedy Height recently, and he talked about his time in Hollywood. Specifically, how they've tried again and again to get him to wear a dress. Each time they tried, he knocked it down. The interviewer asked him, why do you think they want to see a man like you wear a dress so badly? DC said, they want you to bow down. He said, they want to make you bow down. He said, if you want this, these are the terms. He also said that, why do Hollywood want him? He asked the question. He said, because they try to play tricks on your mind. He's like, why do y'all want me to wear a dress so much? When you got black women comedians out here who are funny in Hollywood that's been trying to make it. What is the joke for? Like, why is it so necessary to put a black man in a dress? Why is that almost like a prerequisite to getting on? And it's not, it's not limited to comedy. There are so-called serious, dramatic actors who are black who have put that dress on. And it ain't about being the tender, the weak ones. It's, they, they got the brute ones, the bucks. They put them in that dress. It makes sense. They want to emasculate them. They want to make them bow down. They want to break the buck. See, once you get a man to put on a dress, you can get him to do almost anything. Now, I'm not saying every single dude that's ever put a dress on has done everything or anything, but I'm just saying, if you can get him to put on a dress, you can get him to do almost anything. So, this is where we are. It's almost like we have more black males who have been like huge Hollywood stars who want a dress than not. Think about what I'm saying. Think of all of the big black stars that you know, male stars, leading men that you know. You would have to struggle to name four or five, and I mean big stars, who haven't put on a dress. You don't have to do that with black male actor co-star uh, counterparts. You don't have to do that. What is the story behind that? Why so badly, Hollywood? What are you afraid of? And why is it that black men take the bait so often? Why do they take it so freely? DC said he knows people that are in Hollywood that will do anything, anything for the money. He said some of them are already stars. Some of them are already big. But they'll do anything to take it up a notch. Think about what I'm saying. These guys already got money. Many of them already have more money than they can spend. Yet, they'll do anything to take it up a notch. He said, look, I ain't never had two, three hundred million dollars. He said, because if I get a hundred minutes, a hundred million, I'm out. I'm quitting. He said, that's it. You don't need two, three hundred million. He said, if I get a hundred million, I'm quitting. But he said, I don't even need that. 
I live comfortable. And he didn't say uh, sleep comfortable, but I'm sure he do with the decisions that he make. I'm sure that it's frustrating that, you know, when you see people when, that, that are not as talented as you are, who do do anything for the money, that are willing to sell their soul to get to that bag. It's got to be frustrating to know that you have the talent for the role, for the part. You could play the role. You could do it. But because you were unwilling to put the dress on, you can't further your career. You're going to face certain stumbling blocks. The thing is, is like if all the dudes just really just band together, you could bring a stop to it. But I do believe that some dudes actually get a kick out of it. And you don't have to do a lot to persuade them to wear a dress. Some of these dudes really want to wear a dress. I think some of these dudes are more comfortable in a dress than they are pants. So in that regard, it ain't all Hollywood's fault. In fact, it ain't all Hollywood's fault anyway because no matter what Hollywood wants, no matter what those directors and producers want, if you're a man, you're going to stand for something. Because I do believe you have to know what you won't do for money. A lot of us know what we do, will do for money, but you got to know what you won't do for money. Because otherwise, you find yourself on your knees sucking some man up. Talking to the men out there. You find yourself, even as a female, doing a whole lot of strange things for some change if you don't know who you are and you don't stick to your guns, you don't have convictions and you don't stand for something. Hollywood will chew you up and spit you out. It is a mean machine. It has destroyed a many lives of people who were living on shaky moral ground who didn't really know who they were. Hollywood would take you out. I'm not willing to compromise my manhood for nothing and nobody. Ain't no role out there big enough to make me put on a dress. You ain't got enough meals, billions, to make me wear a dress. I'm not going to wear a dress to act. Even if it's acting, I wouldn't wear a dress. I'm not going to wear a dress for a joke. I'm not going to wear a dress because it's Halloween. I'm not going to wear it and act like, oh, this is just a costume. Nah, put on that dress. Something's behind that. Nah. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I can't even think about wearing a gown. Like if I'm in a hospital and I got a hospital gown on, I feel violated. I don't feel comfortable. I feel like I need something on my legs. You dig what I'm saying? Something ain't right. I don't like that. I'll leave you with this, fam. And I'm sure that many of you can relate to this and I'm sure you've heard it before. But it is very important that I say this as a reminder and for those who may have never heard it. What does it profit a man to gain the world but lose his soul? Remember this. Once you sell your soul, all sales are final. No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>